battleship is located directly above us, Skylander. Pretty convenient, huh? Of course, what's not as convenient is finding a way to get up there. I just happen to have something that might do the trick. Originally made it for launching sheep into space, but I think it'll work just fine for you too, Skylanders. I'm intrigued. Lead the way, Mags. Out of curiosity, though, why exactly did you want to launch sheep into space? Yeah. So here's my sheep flash Skylander launcher. Now you just hold real still here, buddy, while I give you a good fling! Rose in a frying pan! Yeah! Our battleship is just inside that hangar, Skyland. So are a bunch of vultures. Nature's cruelest mistake. Sucks to be you. These scavenger creeps have completely taken over our battleship. And according to Intel reports, eaten most of my lunch from the galley's mini fridge. So, I'll scout up ahead, enveloping the enemy in a classic pincer movement. Plus, maybe I can find the guy who stole my food and make him pay. Use this station to build a robot helper. That's what my mother always told me, and it seems like good advice here. Heck, Skylanders are stronger here. Step here, Skylander. This is gonna be sweet! <laughs> Earth Skylanders are stronger here. Yes! Sky G. 
energy power ready. Chop till you drop. Chi power ready. Face the mace. Sky Chi power. All right. Yeah. Set complete. Set part. Mats, I always say. Well, I don't, but I Eight legs and no pain. Your cargo ship is headed right this way. See, there it is. And it's loaded with supplies for an upcoming invasion. Or maybe the Vulture's annual chili cook off. Either way, I say we smash those crates with a wrecking ball. You just need to restore power to the wrecking ball first. Skylanders are stronger here.
Now see this control panel out here. Come and use it to start wrecking. Night Soul Gem. and awe. Here. Egg rescue. Use claw to rescue eggs. on break when the vultures attacked and uh, union rules say I get to stay in here and play creation clash until they're gone uh, you'll need to learn the game before we play which unfortunately means you also have to deal with those vultures okay Skylander you're now in control of your very own wrecking ball Use it wisely, my friend. More specifically, use it to knock the explosive crates overboard. As quickly as you can! This wrecking ball moves forward and backward for swinging, side to side for aiming, but not backward. Imagine this crate stole something. Job knocking off those crates. But uh oh, here come some more enemies with more explosives. Might as well knock them off too, right? <laughs> Preferably before they can get those explosives to the opposite platform. That is why you don't stand near crates when someone operates a wrecking ball. Oh, 
Up more speed, Skylander. Swing the wrecking ball forwards and backwards. That is why you don't stand near crates when someone operates a wrecking ball. Well done. Now that the cargo area is all clear, we can proceed to the main hangar. I shall never forget our time together with Ray. Starcast Soul Gem. Prepare to face my throwing star. No idea why we made these puppets. Fire it up! Only a sensei of the quick shot class can open this shrine. Fire! You've made it to the main hangar, and more importantly, dun dun dun! The battleship! Somewhere on this glorious vessel is my lunch, and a whole lot more vultures. Let's find a way to get on board and take back control of the ship. Fire! Senseis are stronger here. Jump till you drop. with these platforms. Just think of them as part of the challenge. Sorry I don't have a spare jetpack. to do to get the ship running again is to turn the engine on. Makes sense, right? And that all starts with moving these blocks into position so that they can power up the turbines. Then you'll want to flip the circuit breakers and the ship should be in ship shape. Try saying that five times fast. Heck, Skylanders are stronger here. those blocks into a line.
Perfect. Now, on to the circuit breakers. I'm no mathematician, but that just leaves one more to go. So if we're going to actually fly the ship again, we'll want to unchain it from the hangar. And if we want to unchain it from the hangar, just unscrew the pin on the... Hey, it worked! And nothing seems broken. Bonus! to do see is load these turret shells into the main gun. That's how we're going to get the doors open. Told you it wasn't by the book. Clear the air. Now, pop the next shell in, and we should just about be ready for some blasting. Yeah, I'm stinking rich. on deck and observe the fruits of your labor. Cover your ears, Skylander, if you have it. Well, that worked quite nicely, didn't it? Now we just need to remove all the clamps before this ship is ready to set sail again. Slipping three. Here I come, Skylander.
Skylanders are stronger here. Set bar, bam. A fun place to sneak around. One more. Open, clamps removed. I suppose all that's left to do now is head to the bridge and fly this ship out of here. Oh, yes, and suppose it goes. Face the mace! Without saying that I would still very much like to find my lunch at some point, too. Sensei! Wrong battle. Big club makes bigger gold. <laughs> You get to the main panel up there and regain control of the ship. Me? I'll be down in the gap, taking back what's mine. Okay, Sky Losers. I don't know what you fools are trying to accomplish by taking back this stupid battleship. But in any case, I summon the Purple Doomlander Knight of Cataclysm! Thought I was going to say Doom, didn't you? Doomlander, Night Class. Party with my wrath! Eh?
prepare to face my throwing star. Skylander, we did it. While my lunch still remains at large, the battleship is under our control again, and I think it's ready to take on Chaos's latest monstrosity. Let us set sail for this beast! Tally-ho! Level complete. According to the battleship's guacamole detecting radar, we've tracked that guacamole monster here to this strange island. Wonder what kind of unspeakable acts he could be up to. The gods! It's a salsa island! I'm sure I don't have to tell you about the awesome power of combining salsa and guacamole. We need to stop this guy, and fast! Okay, Skylander, you're gonna need to steer this battleship around and blast that guacamole monster with our cannons. And if you want to change direction, use our handy-dandy direction-changing button. Salsa bats causes a big explosion that may damage the guacamole monster if he's near. Excellent! We are well on our way to victory! Say, he's an angry guacamole monster, isn't he? Ha! <laughs> Not so tough now, are you, Quacky? Wait a minute. That other guacamole monster was merely an appetizer. There's the main course! I definitely don't need to tell you that this is bad, Skylander. But, as usual, I have a cunning plan. Take out the tentacles to defeat Guacamole Monster 2.0. Take out those arms first, Skylander. That's the key to victory. Watch 
Watch out, Skylander! Mega cannons. Shields up! No, wait. There are no shields. Uh-oh. The arm is just begging to be hit, Skylander. If we keep getting hit. Any more of those, Skylander? Say, as hungry as I still am, I shan't be eating guacamole for quite some time. Certainly happy to see another one of Chaos's beasties go down, though. In fact, I hope historians one day write about our momentous victory over the guacamole monster. But for now, let us head back to the MAP. most powerful brain in the known universe last time I checked. And believe me, I check a lot. Brain? Is that you? Ta-da! That's right. I'm in your bird now. I noticed that his mind was quite easy to infiltrate. But getting a hang of this depth perception thing is a different story. Yes, well, speaking of short-sightedness, brain, those stupid Skylanders defeated my supposedly ultimate Doomlander. Hope you're happy. Look, pal, it's not my fault you thought about guacamole during the all-important creation process. But hey, if you want something else, no problem. You just need to be more specific. Fine. How about this for specific? My Doomlanders are utterly feeble! What they need to be is awesomely fearsome! Like some sort of awesomely fierce beast thing! Get me, Brain! <laughs> yeah, you're not giving me a lot to go on, but I've got just the thing. Presto, Braino! Ah! Ow! <laughs> Are you all right, Lord Chaos? I'm fine. There's been a change of plans. We're going to the soda factory. 
It's time to unleash the beast! Yes, indeed. That'll be the last time a giant monster made entirely of guacamole messes with us. To be honest, I still can't believe there was even a first time. Hey, guys! Guess what? Fizzland is under attack! Fizzland? I is that really a thing? Uh, yeah. It's where all my magic potions get made. We also have a farmer's market there every Sunday. Although, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Okay, Skylander, you might want to go with Pop Fizz and check this out. We'll try to figure out what Chaos is up to next. Right this way, Skylander. And, oh yeah, tell me about this guacamole boss.